Welcome back, all of you. Nana here, and then we are at the next day's program on this fusion inventory implementation. So, yesterday we have seen the setups on cyclic counting actually. Go there and share my screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we will not go there. We will not have a look. So that instance is lost now. So I have to create again a new one actually. So let us now go there. I have to do the setups on the cyclic counting again because that instance is lost actually. I'm now working on some other instance. So let us now go there and then create our locations first of all. Click on it. We will now go to the setup and maintenance. And then let me create my locations. Click on it. I will now go to the search. I will now say manage locations. So we had to go and then create our locations again. Manage locations. So click on plus on that. I will now, I'm now working on T10. And then let me go there and then do it now. <clears throat> it is a T10. Lock one. I will not say uh, lock one. So I am now creating a location actually. And take a copy of it, put on the code, and then put on the description and go down. And then zip code is 10020, and then give a tab. I will not choose New York now. Right, click on OK. The address one is a mandatory field. I will not say T10. Okay. Address one. With this, what happens? I click on submit, by which the location is created. We need only one location. It is 1141, and then common set, remember. And click on us. Don't change the location set actually. So once when it is done, we will now query the location whether it is now created or not. I click on OK. I will now go there. I will now query for the T10 and then click on search. So once when I click on search, so we will now see whether it's coming or not. It's coming. If it's not coming, you have to go to approve human approval and then uh, bypass the approvals actually. Now I will now right click and then duplicate. Let us now go and then create our inventory org. So the inventory org has to be created now. I click on it. Click on it. Go there. So go to the setup and maintenance, <clears throat> and then go there. Click on it. Click on search. <clears throat> I'll now go to the manage inventory org. So I go to the manage inventory org, and then I'm going to create the inventory org. <clears throat> so click on plus no point. I will now create my child one actually. This. I'll go there. Click on there. I will now say T10. Fine. Child one. I'm not creating it. Right. The organization what? Capital T 101. Go there. So the business unit is what? Years one. And then give a tap. And then go there. So the location is what? T10. We have created only one location for this. I'm not ready. So drop down the legal entity. So we are now putting the US one legal entity. The profit center business unit is coming. And click on the next in the top now. So click on the next on the top. Go there. So here it is operations. Right. So we are working on the visions one. And so we had to use the same operations. And then schedule is also operations. So operations are scheduled. Go there. Locator control determined at subunit level is the best level actually. And then go there. So click on save and close by which the org is now created actually. The value is the attribute. Okay, fine. This is one. So here the item grouping behavior is definition or here to make it. Known. So that I have forgotten it. Fine. The mandatory field. So go there. And then click on save and close by which the child org is now created. And then I will have only one sub inventory in this place. Now, if I click on that, I will now go to the what? Manage percentage, fine. Sub percentage, lookup percentage. For the cyclic counting exercise, we need only one sub inventory. So go to the manage sub inventory and look at us. And then change the R to T101 and then give it a tap. I click on OK. It is not done. Now, if I click on it, not done. And then go there. So click on plus. Sub inventory is what? T10, fine. Underscore sub one. That is the sub inventory. So take the operate and then put the description and then go there. Location is what T10 and then give it a tap. You're putting it fine. This much is sufficient. Now fine. The story is ability. There is no locator control at all. Material status is active. Fine. Click on save and close by which you know completed. What happens? The creation of a sub inventory. So click on that fine, by which it is now completed. So we are now completed the creation of a sub inventory. Now what happens? That is the org is also created. We'll now come back to the manage locations and then click again on search and then we will now tie the location to our select it and then click on edit and then click on update now fine we are going to type the location to org if i click on okay so by which we will now perform a type to the org 
So the location and org again time. I will now put T10 over here and then wait for it. Fine. Gumega, Gumega, Ayaga. Child one Agia. And then go there. So click on submit. By which what happens? The location org tie is now done. Now. Okay, click on submit. We are done the location organization time. So now we will now go ahead and then create our items for this exercise actually. You know, done now. So it's all completed. So we are now completed there. What happens? The tying fact click on okay. We'll now. We'll now go there and then open up for cyclic counting document. Go to the fifth one now. Fifth one. I will now go to what your CUSCM training. I will now go to the fusion inventory documentation. I will now say when, uh, uh, one cyclic counting. I will now say CYC. I will now query for it now. Reasons for cyclic counting. So there is a document on the fusion inventory documentation called reasons for cyclic counting. I am double clicking and then opening it now. Reasons for cyclic counting. And double click and then open it up. So we have already seen yesterday itself what are the reasons for the cyclic counting actually. There's many reasons for that. So it may be misplaced, damaged, utalia koi, find pilgrimage everywhere, and then wrong data entry. You know what happens? Uh, doing a you know what the, uh, what's called it? dreaming with a, a nine tara, and then hundred you are entering a thousand actually. And there may be very many reasons for what happens having a wrong data entry actually. Now, with this information, what happens? We are not created one. Now we are going to create three items actually. We will not create the fourth item also, but the fourth item will not be cyclic count enabled actually. So CC1 is the one point for that point. I will not go there. I will not click on that. <clears throat> and then I will now go to what? Click on the home icon and click on that. I will not click on the home icon. I go to the product management and then product information management. Product management, product information management. So the CC1 is a no controlled item. So which I am now going to create as a first item actually. Look at our first item. And then second one, I will go that corner. I will not first of all go that corner. I will not go to the create item. Now we are not creating an item actually. On the 000 org. So 000 org, I will go that. Okay, I will go that corner. Now coming, man. let it be any item class. It doesn't matter. Man, go that. So click on okay. You know, coming as a default one, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Go there. So here everything is there. Find the account here. All these things are there actually. So you go there. I will not go to the associations and then directly associate. You go to the specifications and have a look at the inventory. You go to the specifications and then go to the inventory. Now the item is by default it is enabled for cyclic counting actually. So here what I was will not see the item is not enabled for cyclic counting actually. Restrict subject. Cyclic counting is enabled is yes section. Fine. You can very well count it actually. If it is a very costly item, there is no need to count at all because there won't be any discrepancy on this one. Go there. So go to the associations and then click on the associations. And then here you go to actions and then go to select name. It's not coming. Fine. Go there. So first of all, you have to give a name. Item name is what? T10. Fine. Underscore CC1. Fine. I will not say it's a no control item. So T10, I will not say T10 01. T10 01. No control item. So there's a no control item fine that. Now what happens? I go to the action in the self nat So we are given the item name and you go to the self nat and then let me associate my child or no point t10 and then enter it. I'll now go there and then choose it. Select it on the left hand side, thank you. So click on apply and then click on done. The item is now getting assigned to the child or now what I will now see is now getting assigned to If it is now giving you an error, then we have to give the function security and data security also. Remember that is not coming. So click on submit. Click on submit by which what happens? The item is now getting created and then assigned to the child or was. T101 is now getting assigned also. So go there. No, it is now going for a new item request, and so I will not cancel it. So I will not use this at all. Thank you for cancel. So this will be learning it a bit later now. Fine. So that, that that one is not correct actually. So give a cancel now. Fine. So uh whatever has come, come out to fine. It has now come fine. The come out, come out to is not okay. Fine. I will not give whatever. Do you want to continue? Yes, no, fine. I will not close it. I will not choose some other root item class. No, fine. Click on it. That now he is now setting it up for approval, actually. So click on the create item. I will not go there. Zero, zero, zero. Fine. Since he is setting it for approval, he will be learning it in the next training, actually. Not now. I will not use it. No, fine. Come out to. I will not use it. I will not go there. I will not use automotive. I hope that uh, nobody has used it. No, fine. Click on it. 
I will not use automotive. Automotive, I'm now using it, fine, click on OK. So click on yes, no, fine. We'll not see that there is no approved, no, fine. It has to be approved. Go there. I will not say T1001. <laughs> Approval, we will not see it in the next training. This is the one. I will not say it's a no control item. No control item. I know that. The no control item. I go to the associations and then I will not put that. I will not associate what? You go to actions and go to self and And then associate what? To my child or. Now go there. I will not choose my child or go here. Select it and then click on apply and then I click on done. So it will not apply. So go on and save and close now. Right? Now it will not trigger any new item request actually. Save and close, it will be getting fully saved actually. T1001 CC1 is now ready. So this item is now created. Now what happens? We are now going to get the CC2, which is going to be a lot controlled item actually. The CC2 will be a lot controlled. So now we are now saving this item and it is now getting created in the master org and then save si simultaneously getting saved on the child org also. So both activities are now happening together actually. So go there is no save now. Find that one. Will not go there. I will not create the CC2, which is going to be a lot controlled item. CC2 is going to be a lot controlled. Find that one. I will not click on it. Will not go there. Create the item. So click on create item. Will now make CC2 as a lot controlled item. Zero zero zero. Mm. Go there. I will not choose automatic now. AUTO automatic. I'm choosing it now. I hope that here it is not enabled for any approval. Actually, we'll be learning about approvals later now. It's automatic. And then go there. Click on okay now. It's okay. So it is the second item is CC2 now. The second item, which is going to be CC2. Go there with the T ten zero two underscore CC two. So CC two is the one fine take of it and then put in the description. And then here I will not go there. I will not go to what go to the specifications now. I am going to modify the specification. CC one no specification modification. You yeah, know accepted or the defaults actually. Now I go to the specifications and then I go to the inventory and then make it as a lot controlled item actually, as per the plan. So the plan is what. That is the lot control. I am not going to give you on lot 10, two quantities, and then lot 20 to three quantities. That is what the plan is. Actually, I go there. I will not go to the inventory now. I go to the inventory. In the inventory area, I will not enable the lot control. Actually, now by default, it is coming to the manufacturing. Now we are going to go to the inventory area. Inventory area, we are going to that one now. I will not say lot control is what full lot control. So once when you make a full lot control, what happens? The starting prefix number and then starting lot number may be becoming mandatory actually. It's not becoming mandatory even then. What happens? I will not put some lot underscore. Some one lot. If it is becoming mandatory, we put it up. So here, no shelf life. We are not testing. We are not testing the shelf life at all. Fine, go that. 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 And then nothing else there. It's only fully lot control. Now. And again, you see that what happens uh, here. The cyclic counting is enabled actually. Cyclic counting is enabled. Fine, go that. Fine, go that. I will not go to the associations and then let me associate with the child dog. So 0 to CC2 is now getting associated with child arm. I'm going to actions and go to select that. So we will now associate our child arm now. What? T10. <clears throat> and then entry now. I will now select it on the left hand side. So click on apply and click on that. What happens? It is now getting associated with the child arm. So go there. Click on save and close by which the second item is now created, which is a lot control item. Now the third item is going to be a serial control item. It's going to be serial control. I'm now going to use a dynamic control. This time, whatever I will not use dynamic control, I click on it. I will not go there, click on it. I will not create an item in the common master 000. So click on the create up. We are now creating the item in the common master of 000. The 000 the master. I will not use automotive now. Drop it on. I will not choose automatic. So click on OK now. No, not. Automatic, I'm using it now. Click on this one. And then ensure that the status is approved now. The status has to be approved now. So go there. So it is approved actually. Fine, go there. It is a T10. Fine. 03. Fine, go there. CC3. Fine, go there. It is what is called serial control data. So it is a serial control data picture. I will not go to the specification, then make it as a dynamic control. 
So the number two is a lot control item. Number three is going to be a serial control item. Fine, go there. I will not click on the inventory. I will not click on the inventory. And then here, I will not make it as what? Serial control. Control. Lot control is only no control. The bottom, what happens? Serial control. We have not seen all the things now. Fine, go there. So now this time what happens for this exercise, I'm going to use the dynamic entry at the inventory system. And I'm going to, so, so starting prefix and starting lot number are not mandatory. Had it been mandatory, you had to sit now. Fine. Since it is R control, had it been item control, then it will become mandatory actually. There also it is R control, it will be not coming. So go there. So dynamic entry at inventory system is a serial generation. And go that component. I will not go to the associations and let me associate to the child R. And go to the actions. The 0, 3 is now getting associated. It is a serial control. Go there. So the T then. And then enter now. Select it and then click on apply and then click on done. And then go there. Fine, give a save and close. Now we are going to get the fourth item, which is a dummy item, and then that is not enabled for serial number. If an item is a very costly item, no need to count at all. Fine, such items need not be cyclically counted. Only mouse, keyboard, and other things are low cost items, they have to be counted because there is a possibility of a theft or misplacement. All these things are there for a Platinum on gold, what happens? It will be under the lock and key of the inventory in charge. And so they don't need any counting at all. It will always be in a safe place. Only. So such items will not, what happens? It will not have any. The system quantity and actual quantity will always be same for such items. I click on create items and go there. So that the end client will say, which, which, which need not be counted actually. I will not go there. I will not put my master or go here. I will click on it. I will not put in master. I will not choose what? Automatic, you know. So go there. Drop it down. I will not choose automatic. <clears throat> So click on OK now, fine, by which the fourth item is not going to be created. You are not going to get the fourth item. So go there. The T10, fine. 04 underscore CC4, fine. I will not say it's a dummy item. Dummy CC item, cyclic count item, because it is not going to come in the cyclic counter. So go to the specifications, and then I'm going to make only one change now, fine, go to the inventory. So the dummy item, <clears throat> I'm going there. I'm not enabling the lot control. I'm not enabling the serial control also. <laughs> The serial generation also I'm not going to make it, but I will not make this as a known. Fine, cyclic counting is known. So this cannot be counted at all. It will not come to counting at all. I will not go to the associations and then let me associate to the child or not. I can go to the actions and then go to select that. So we are not associating our child or not. I click on it. The T10, fine entry now. Fine. That is the only R we have now. I click on it. Select it and then click on apply and then click on done. It will not done. So go there. I will not drop down and then save and close by which all the four items are now created actually. Now, let us now keep a stock on this. No, fine. As per the plan, no, fine. we are having this plan. No, fine. So, since we are creating a new one, now fine, we have to go and then give the what's called the data access. We have to give a data access. Fine, on it. I will not go there. I will not give what only one data access. There is an inventory manager. Fine, nothing else is required. Now, fine, on it. So, go there because we are not working on any other thing except the inventory. Now, fine, controls. And then I go to what security console. And then I'm going to give only one role and then data access. Otherwise, what happens there? We had to give four roles and four data access for every inventory org you are creating it actually. Had it been a system one, it will not be a problem of click on it. You are now logged in as a CM10 actually. I go to the users. I go to the users. Go there. The SCM10 entry now. I go there and then I click on it and then I'm going to edit it now. I will now add the inventory manager role now. Click on it. Now go to the edit. And then let me add the inventory roles. Fine. Click on the add roles. And then let me add the inventory manager role now. Fine. I N V E N inventory manager. Inventory manager of Vora now. Fine. Click on it. I'm now adding the inventory manager of Vora. And what are the one? Fine. Click on it. Now click on add role. So this is the only role required. Otherwise, the receiving agent, the warehouse manager, as well as the shipping manager are required for every new org actually. So it is now done. Fine. Since it is a vision instance, we have OU CM role that will take care of all the inventory activities for the standard orgs of 001, 002, etc. etc. You are working on it. No need to add any roles at all. No need to add any roles. So we can very well work on this. We have same time signal. So click on save and close by which is not completed. Now we will not give a data access. Okay? Click on the we'll not give a data access. Now go there. So having done this, whatever they go there, we'll not give a data access. After having given the role, we have to give a data access also. Inventory needs the data access. Fine. It is a SaaS policy. Any SaaS model, fine. The SaaS audit says that whatever it, we have to have security actually. Manage personal fine. Data access. So the security is a paramount important fusion actually. Fine, that not. I'll go there. I will not add the data security. Fine. Click on plus now. So we are now logging in with the SCM10 actually. The SCM10 and go there. It'll be coming. The role is what? Inventory manager. 
the here what happens it is an inventory organization and then go there it is a t101 is on so click on save and close so having done this what happens you run the concurrent called what your scheduled concurrent right? click on it now go to the tools and go there. click on it now go to the tools and then you go to the scheduled process you go to the scheduled process and run the what import user role so click on scheduling process you will now run the import user role So with this, we complete all the setups and then afterwards you always log out and log in after you make a huge amount of setups. It's not running now. So let it run. It will not take around approximately five minutes to run. It doesn't matter. Let me go on and see. Now the import user role will be running now. <clears throat> so let it run now and now wait and then afterwards it will not start. It's waiting for the process. It's not ready. And then it will it's not ready. So I don't know. Log out and log in. Once you log out and log in. After making all the setups, you have a habit of logging out and logging in. Okay? And that is a very good practice. So that what happens. Uh, the setups will be visible on the transaction system. So this concurrent is also enabling it. Actually, okay? This is not required in the field, actually, because uh, the system has got an inbuilt syncing of all these things internally. But that takes around five to six hours. But in the field, you won't be doing all the activities immediately. So you can even very well wait. Actually, No need to run this. Is it? Now we are force syncing it. This force syncing may not be required at all the field. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to keep a stock of this. No, fine. CZ1, CZ2, and CZ3, we are going to keep a stock. I will not go to what? I will not go to supply chain execution. I will not go to the supply chain execution. And then I go to the inventory management and then let me keep a stock of all these things. So click on it. I will not go to what? Change the org. I will not 001. <clears throat> I will not change the org. So go to the what I mean, since the, the data access has been given, we can very well change it. Otherwise, we cannot give it all. T101, we cannot give it off. I know that for it. We will now create a miscellaneous transaction by changing the order to T101 and then perform four miscellaneous receipts actually for the four items which we have. So click on the create miscellaneous transaction and then change the order to T101 now. So click on the change or the top. <clears throat> click on it and then over there. And I'll put what T101 and click on it. I'm not giving it now. So the org is changed actually. So once we change the org, so click on it. We will now create the miscellaneous transaction again. The org is changed. The return set you can see. Click on it. Create miscellaneous transaction. And then go there. Drop it down. I will now make it the miscellaneous receipt. Now click on it. Now make it the miscellaneous receipt. So it's a miscellaneous receipt. Now click on it. And then the account is an offset account. Now we already seen about how to set up the offset account. Right? So the inventory valuation offset account has been fully taught in my costing training actually. Click on it. I will now choose another account. Click on it. The offset account is set fine. I will not make it as what cost it is yes. You have seen the cost is no also. In this training, we are not taking as yes. No, click on it. We have only one submitted in which we are going to do it. So T1001 is the first item. So the first item will have 51 quantities, which is going to have a no control. 51 quantities, there is no control at all. No serial control, no lot control. Go there. It's a T1001 and then give it tab. The item will be coming. So it is our so click on it, it will be coming. So we have only one submitting. So once we give a tab. It'll be coming. <clears throat> so once when the item comes in, that was it. we'll now put the sub inventory over here. So it's coming, coming, coming. <laughs> so once when it comes from the offset account, also coming. So it is not visible actually. Fine, enlarge the field. Fine, go there. Click on it. Enjoy. Kichi, 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 kichi. Fine, it's not coming. So go there. Drop it down and then choose the sub inventory. So go there. I will not choose the subinventory. I will not say 51 quantities or one more. Thank you. I am not going to keep 51 quantities. Fine. Click on plus and then the second item. We're going to have two lines now. Fine. So what in the 0 2, fine. Lot 1 is 2 and then lot 20. Lot 10 is 2 and then lot 20 is 3 now. Go there. So I'll not say is what? T10. 0 2 and then give it a tab. And then we'll now go to what? Go there. And then populate the only subinventory which you have now. <coughs> You have got only one sub and then click on the ADT days and then enter the lot. No, click on ADT days and go and enter the lot. So here, what happens if you put the transaction quantity is two, and then afterwards they put a lot, the transaction quantity will vanish actually. That is what it is. What T10 underscore lot 10 actually. Okay. The T10 underscore lot underscore 10. And if you give a tap, automatically the transaction quantity will vanish now. And then again put the quantity. So the transaction quantity has to be populated only after the lot is populated. Actually. I will not put the point. No, it is vanished. Click on two. So click on OK. 
So the second line. So T ln lot 10 is not a lot 10 is having two quantities, and then lot 20 will be having three quantities for our x So it is not enough factor on it. I will not click on plus one, I click on plus one. I don't go for the third item. The same same item only. The what T10 0 2 and then give it up. The same subordinate, but it time lot 20 actually. Drop it down. I will not choose this subordinate. If I click on any details. So we are not editing it effect on edit details and go there. In the edit details, I will now put the lot first and then after the transaction quantity. You know, the T10 point underscore lot underscore 20 now. So previous lot was 10. Now lot 20 now. Lot 20. Now what happens? I give the transaction quantity 3. Now I click on it. You know, accept it. And go there. So click on OK. It's not done. Now what happens? You go there. And then we will now go for the final dummy item actually. The fourth item is the dummy item because it is not enabled for cyclic counting actually. But we will now keep a stop also. So click on plus now. I don't keep a stop. So go there. It is what? T10. Fine. And zero, 04. And then give it a The fourth item. I don't drop it off. We can very well receive. Only thing is we cannot do the cyclic counting. That is the only disadvantage in the item because cyclic counting is. I will now keep a quantity of one. One more. So click on submit. Fine. It is not submit. So everything is now completed. So we have now received everything now. Click on it. Now we will now set up the ABZ analysis for this. We are now going to do the ABZ analysis for this. So you click on it. So click on the top side name now. When click on the setup and maintenance and then come to the FSM. And then we will now create the ABZ analysis for this. So click on it. And then set up the ABZ analysis actually. So click on search now. Click on search. Go there. So the is what uh, manage percentage fine ABC percentage no entry. So there will be three tasks are there. Right? So manage ABC assignment groups, assignment class, and then classification sets. So we are now going to create the classification sets first. No, click on it. Manage classification sets. We are going to. So click on the manage classification sets, ABC classification sets, which I already seen yesterday now. And, uh, so click on plus. I will now create my classification set for this. No, click on it. <coughs> That is what T10. I will now say uh, ABC, uh, uh, ABC classification set. So we are creating a classification set. So this time, what happens? You're going to do at the org level. Fine. There are three levels we are saying now. Fine. One is org or one is the sub inventory or one is what sub inventory, sub inventory, sub inventory, and then sub inventory. And there are three levels of that. So now I'm going to use org or level. So you have seen already every discussion of the organization. And then what? what is this? Organization must be organization is not coming from you cancel now. I will now again create it. Thank you for plus. That has become organization actually. So go there. The T10. I will now say ABC classification simple. So go there. Take a copy of it. T10. ABC classification set and take off it. And then put the description of it. So it is org org level now. Find criteria is what on and quantity. So we don't have any costing now, fine. So we can only use on the quantity. So click on submit by which what happens? The classification set is now getting made. Fine. The classification set is now getting made. So a concurrent will be running for creating the classification set actually. So click on submit. A concurrent will be running for creating the classification set. Now what happens? We go there and then create our classes actually. So now the concurrent is going to run for creating our classification set. Afterwards, we will now create our classes and then do the assignments actually. We are going to perform an assignment. So the process is submitted. Fine, go click on it. Now coming. You know, say what happens. If the status is none actually. And if you keep on searching, what happens? It will be getting completed soon. It's still none. Now click on done and then come out of it. Now fine. Classification that is created. So come to the main page. Now fine. I will now go to the word classes. You go to the manage ABC classes and then create a class. Three classes I'm going to create. Fine. Click on plus now fine. <coughs> I will now create three classes actually. So go there. This is what's called A class. Go there. This is what high quantity class. We can have in description as for the incline. I will have B class. So discuss the incline and the naming, the naming convention as we discuss. Right? B class is a medium quantity class. And then I will not say click on plus number. I will not say C is a low quantity class. It is a low quantity class. So go there, give a seven close by which one of the classes are created actually. Click on seven close. Now we have completed creation of classes. Now what happens? We go there and then go to the assignment groups. 
So I will again go to the ABC classification set and then see whether it is now complete or not. No status is complete actually. The status was initially none and now complete or not. Click on that. Now we'll now go to the assignment groups. Click on it. So go to the manage ABC assignment groups. We are going to assign it. Click on it. I will now say what I was click on plus and I will now create an assignment group actually. Go there. So what? T Fine. Assignment. Assigned group. So we are now creating an assignment group and drop it down. So here for this org, we have got only one classification set is now made. Now I click on it. You know, see whether I am now making it correctly. I am in the proper org or not. Yes, I am in the proper org only. So I must be on the proper org. T101, it's okay. Fine. Click on plus. I must be on the proper org. So go there, click on plus. Now I will now say T10. Assigned group. I am now using assigned group. Drop it down. I will now choose the ABC classification. So click on plus now. I am now going to add which classes I need. I need three classes actually. So I will now give a priority on this now. The sequence number is one now. I will now say A class. So with which priority you want it now? Click on it. A class one. Click on plus now. I will now go for what? Number two. The sequence number is two now. So I will now give a sequence number of two and then do it now. So click on it. I will now put number two over here now. Click on it. So the number two is what? Number two. I'm going to go there with the B class. Then go there. Click on plus one. I will now number three. Number three is what? Go there. I will now drop down. I will now choose what? C class. Now, having chosen the classes with the priority, what happens? Give us a close. We are going to do the assignment actually. Click on. So by which the assignment group is now created. Fine. So it's not done. Then go there. We will not perform the ABC assignments for this. Right? Click on it. I will now click on the ABC assignments. Right? Click on the perform ABC assignments. So click on it and I'll go there and then do it now. Perform ABC assignments actually. So here it has already done the sorting actually. It has already done the uh, sorting by, based upon the quantity actually. So the no item is having the highest quantity. Then the number two will be having the next highest quantity in the like that. So A class, I will now say sequence number one. Go there. It will now show you what is the item. Is the CC one is the right? Go there. Click on the B item. The B is what two. Go there. Give it a. It will be CC two actually. It will be CC two. Go there. Item. And then three and four comes into class three. But the fourth item will never uh, be done the thing. Now, fine. So it's what is three items. Then it's come. The fourth is not enabled for cyclic counting. And so it won't come in. Fine. Okay. So one, two, four. But it's now having four items actually. And up to sequence number four is there. It's now saying the starting number. Fine. So now by which whatever we have completed the assignments of vision. So assignment has been completed. Fine. Click on it. So click on submit by which whatever the assignment is now completed. So click on it. So no, no, no. So click on save and close by which the assignment is not completed. Now at this stage also you log out and log in. At this stage also you log out and log in. Right? So because in every major activity you have a habit of logging out and right? so click on it. No log out and log in. Sign out and sign in, and then we will now create our CC cyclic counting. So items are created, the stocks are kept, and then ABC is now completed. Now we'll now go on that. Do our cyclic counting on this. We are going to perform a cyclic counting on it. We will now first of all create a cyclic counting. Actually. We are now going to create a cyclic counting. Actually. We will now go to the supply chain execution. Of, of course, we will now go to the supply chain execution. We will now go to the supply chain execution. And then go to the inventory management. And then here will now go to the counting part. Till now we are not seeing the counting at all. We have seen the other ones. Now we are going to go to the counting. Actually. So you click on it. And then here we will now perform the counting. Actually. Now it is not by default, it is not showing 001 org. It is not changing the org also. So I will now go to the manage item quantities and change the org. I click on the manage item quantities and change the org to T101. And then afterwards, I will now go to the counting. So click on change org. I will now change it to what? T101 is the one fine. Go there, click on OK now. By which I will complete it. Now I will now go to the counting. The org and the manage item quantities have changed it now. Fine. Go there, click on it. I will now go to what? Drop it on. You have not seen the shipments, pigments, picks, receipts, everything you have seen now. Now you are going to go to the counts. You go to the counts. And then here, create cyclic count to the one. On the counts, we will now create a cyclic count. Fine. Click on the create cyclic count. You will now ensure that the T101 is coming along. Fine. Click on it. You are now going to create a cyclic count. So click on create cyclic count. So it is a big process. T101 is there. So I will now say name it fine. T10. Fine. I will now say uh, cyclic count. I will now say daily. Some companies will be performing the count daily. Actually. So cycle count by item category, no. If you want, even even category wise, also count otherwise. No. Sub inventories to count. Right? I won't have all actually. So go there. So what happens? Actions and then what happens? Go there. I have to include all. I take on this now. Fine. 
I will not say uh, which sub unit. I will not select it and then here order and go there. Include in count actually. So click on it, select it. I'm not selecting it. So it has to be included in the count actually. If I go to actions and then order and say include in count. So which which sub inventories you want to include if you have many, many sub inventories are doing now. So at every point of time, what happens? They give a save. So it's now getting saved. It's a big train actually. It's a big train. You must provide a value for it. So you cannot do it alone. So only when you complete the first three exercises, first three tab regions, then only we can save. Otherwise, we cannot save at all. One, two, and three has to be completed. Then only we can save. Otherwise, we cannot save at all. So go that moment. And then here, what about the ABC assignment group? So I'm going to assign it to the ABC. Group. Click on this assignment group. And, go there. and then I will now perform a complete assignment actually. No appending. Right? I'm going to perform a complete assignment. Go there. In order. So now I cannot save it. Otherwise, I complete the first three actually. So it is a complete assignment of this. Now, right? We have got four items, otherwise three items are eligible for counting. So I select the group and then click on the complete. And then click on the what happens, second one. Click on so the first area is now completed, the name. And then I selected and then included in the count. And then this assignment group, I'm going to perform what? Synchronize the counting with this now. So go to the second one, find define scheduling and approvals. Define scheduling and approvals. So I will not say automatically schedule because the daily one, I will not change the frequency is daily. So frequency is daily. So operating the one now. Approval required now. I will say approval required. When you want approval, I will not say if out of tolerance. Let us say we have 100 Moses. The inventory boy has now counted what happened. I am not going to give a 10% tolerance. Plus or minus 10. So he has counted 91. The system will automatically approve because it is well within the tolerance actually. 100 is now counted as then. What happens? They will not adjust the system quantity to 91 actually. But he has counted 89. Then what happens? It will be going to approve. It will be going to approve actually. Right? If you go 89, what happens? It will be going to approve. So I am now giving. It will not be in reality. It will not be 10% or off end, Maybe 1% or 0.5% only in reality. So similarly, what happens? The positive adjust. If it is a value, no, nothing is costed. We cannot put it. Otherwise, what happens? The value wise also, we can see how how much is the deviation. Actually. So is what next schedule date? Fine. I will not drop it down. I will not say today. I am going to schedule it. Next schedule date is today. Today I am going to schedule it. So on the second tab region, we have completed everything. 10% is a very high value. In reality, it won't be high. It will be only just 1% or less than 1%. So since item is not costed, we are not giving anything. And then today I want to schedule it actually. I want to schedule it today. And then you go to the third tab region and click on the defined parameters. I'm going to give the defined parameters and click on the defined parameters for that. So here sequence will now start on what? 1001. 1001. 1001 it is going to start. I will now say 1001 is the start number actually. So maximum days before late now. I'll not say two days. So today I have to count something. Day after tomorrow also, I have not performed the counting. It will be marking it as a late count on the back end actually. So somebody can even, uh, what happens to do it now? And then the maximum number of recounts, what happens? I will not say one only. In our company, it is only one. So if a person has now counted 100 quantities of 89, it will ask him to go on and again count it. If he is again coming back with the results of 89, then what happens? The system will not take an action of it. It will approve it or send it to inventory in charge for approval. So in our company, we normally do a recount only for one maximum time. And then manual counts are always allowed. And then that? manual count sequence if you want to get. And then count zero quantities also. So if the system is showing a zero, the inventory boy will now go there and then ensure that it is really zero. Displaces suggested quantity. How much is it? How much has to be there in the, in the one? No. Serialized items is allowed actually. Normally allowed. Serial number counts is what? Multiple persist, multiple per counts. Because over there, I will not say multiple serial numbers can be clubbed into one count actually. Now, what happens? I'm going to have what? 101, 102, 103. Now, fine. Oh God, I have not kept the third item in the place. Now, fine. I forgot it actually. The third item, I have not kept it. Fine. I will not right click on the duplicate. I will have to what? Keep the stock of the third item actually. The third item stock has not been done. I will not go to the place. Fine. I have not done it. Supply chain execution, go to the inventory management. I have not kept the stock of the third item actually. I don't go there. So click on it. I will not go to what? Manage item quantities and then make a check. No, fine. I made a mistake. Right? So manage item quantities. The third item I'm not giving you stopping to search. No, fine. Search. I'm going to show you item one and item two. Fine. So item one, item two, and item four. But third item I'm not done it. Fine. So third item I will not keep a stop. I forgot to give a stop. Fine. I will not go on then. Create a miscellaneous transaction on this. No, fine. I forgot to give a stock of the third item. No, fine. I will not go there. But miscellaneous is no. I will not go there. I will not populate the account again. I will not search. The third item I have not forgotten it actually. Select it. And click on OK. And then go there. I'll click on yes. Click on it. I'll go to the third item. So go there. The T10. Fine. 0, 3. And then give a tab. And then click on the edit details. Fine. The sub inventory is what? Only sub inventory. Fine. Click on the edit details. And then I will now populate what? Go there. I will now say transaction quantity is 3 now. Fine. Here we have to give the quantity first. And then record the lot serial numbers. I will now say 101 to 103 is the serial numbers actually. 
go there. So click on find enter serial number range. I will go there and then put 101 to 103. So go there. Fine. It's 101 with a dynamic entry and then it will go up to 103. So go there. So click on OK now. Fine. Go there. I will now submit it. So click on OK and then submit this. The transaction gets completed. The transaction is not complete. So we got three items on it now. There's no section. Now we'll not come back to this place. Now click on it. So here what happens? I will not say multiple per request fine. Go there. It is adjust if possible. No, normally what happens if it's a laptop? Even if one is missing, the inventory in charge has stopped. You will not adjust it with, if it is within the tolerance for them. So that you will not say review all adjustments. So for a serial items, what happens? We will always review it. Even if one, one laptop is missing, the inventory in charge has to analyze why it is missing it. Record count serials also. And serial discrepancy is normally allowed because what happens is you might have misplaced it somewhere. So we will know allow the discrepancy of the during counting. And then here, accuracy. Fine. It is called a hit miscount. Fine. Go there. If it is going to be, the error is going to be less than 3% or plus or minus 3%. Then what happens? It is considered as a hit count actually. <coughs> we can use it for <coughs> physical inventory actually. <coughs> this <coughs> positive and negative can be used for physical inventory actually. <coughs> now we can very well save actually. It's okay. Now what happens? At this stage, we have to give a save and close now. So one day after complete all the three activities, what happens? We can give a save and close now. Fine. Now in this place, in the first one, what happens? We are given the complete initialization of the ABC cycle counting, <coughs> ABC analysis now. So click on save and close. Now the whole count will be initiated with this. Now. Click on save and close. So we are now saving it now. Fine. Click on it. We are now saving it with this. Now. So the cycle counting is now getting saved. Fine. I will now make a search now. Click on it. I will now again make a search. So go there. Click on it. I will now go there. Expand it and then make a search. Now. Click on it. This is the only one now. Click on it. I will now edit again. Start and click on it. The first three years completed. Now click on it. And then if you go to the edit, what happens? You can now see in the bottom. What happens? The complete is gone. It has not gone to the non actual. That means what? It has already done the completion of what? Synchronization of ABC analysis with the cyclic counting action. You will now go there. Go to the defined parameters. Fine, go there. Count. It's not coming. Fine, go there. So it's not coming. Fine. You will complete everything. Fine, go there. You will now go to the fourth tablet and fine. Go there. There's one. Now, fine, click on it. You, have to go. you will now go to the next. Now, fine, click on next. One. Click on next. One. So click on next. <coughs> now, these two are not applicable because we have not done any categories at all. Category ways we are not done. So these two steps are bypassed and then they're not coming to the table. <coughs> Define classes and items. Now, I will not say how many times you want it now. Fine. The daily one, I will not say 365 days per year. Right? Now, it will not accept 365 days because what happens uh, in this year, we don't have 365 days at all. <coughs> From today to end date, what happens? We don't have 365. You know, see <coughs> whether it throws an error or not. We don't have 365 days in this year, actually. The vision is working on a what happens the January to December calendar. Fine, go there as well. Now keep your cursor on the A count, A class. <laughs> go there. And then here, what happens? I will not. What happens? I click on fine, go to actions. And then here, what happens? I go to actions. And then go to add a row. Now. This is the one now. Fine, click on it. So here, what I'm going to do is I will not add a row now. Fine, click on it. So here, uh, once when you initiate it, what happens? You cannot see uh, in the what happens the A class. The lot control item is coming in the B class. No control item is coming. The C class, what happens? The serial control is coming. So the items are already coming in over here, actually, on different different classes. Actually. So the items are already coming. So there is no need to add explicitly at all. Items are available, actually. So since it on. So since A class, it may have around 100 to 150 items, what happens? Everything will be coming over here, now, actually. A class is what? No control item. Fine. You know, having the highest quantity. Right? A class is having the highest quantity, no control item. So B class is the next one. So it is having five quantities. Fine, go there. Is a lot control item is coming. Fine, click on the B class. You know what happens? CC two is not coming. Fine, and then the C class. What happens? We have got only an item. There is a serial control item. So it has got a CC one, CC two, and CC three. Fine. It has got automatically initiated by your uh, what happens? Uh, the ABC assignments. So we had to perform the full assignments in the ABC class. Then only it will be coming. So every class is now having it. So if it has got some hundred items, everything will be coming. Oh yeah, all the things will be coming. All the things will be coming. So. Expand it. It's still not visible. Oh God, it is very big or what? Okay, <laughs> it's not coming. So go there. So it's not coming. Fine. Click on next now. Fine. Click on it. So go there. So 360 way may not be possible. Fine. Click on next now. Fine. Click on next now. See that it gives error. It may save in some time. Everything is now coming. So give a save now. Fine. Click on save. I am now saving it actually. Review and then I am saving it actually. You must enter a count sequence, fine, which is less than 260 only, fine. <laughs> you know, saying like only 260 days are left in this year, actually, fine. A uh, frequency that is same or less than the total number of working days in the year, actually. So it's not accepting it, fine, go there. So 
So it'll not go there. It'll not go back here. Now, if I click on it, it'll not say whatever they go there. It is not 365, it is not 260 only is allowed. 260, go there. I'm going to say this is what? 260 again. So maximum 260 only is possible in the area. The balance days, working days, from now on or something. 260 days up to March, I think, probably. I click on save now, fine. The most save. So now the cyclic counting is now created actually. With every class having the appropriate item. So yet the dummy item is not coming at all because that is not enabled for cyclic counting. And so in the C class is not coming. Now. So go there. So click on save and close by which whatever there's no complete. So now what I was that we are now created a cyclic counting actually. Now click on search again. Now find click on search. And then we will now run the concurrence actually. We will now run the concurrence and then do the data entry. Actually. So click on search. And then we are now going to run the concurrence actually. We are going to run the concurrence. Not on the thing, not on the so here, what happens? You go to actions, and then here, what happens? You go to what? Create cycle counting. Now, it is not the thing. Manage count schedule is not required. You go to the manage manual count schedule is not required. I will not generate the count schedules. I am not going to generate the count schedules. I click on it. Let me generate the count schedules. Actually, we are now going to generate the count schedules. Actually, so the process is completed. 684 is not running. I will not go there. Right click and then duplicate. Yeah, duplicating it. Actually. Right click and then duplicate. So now there's no going ahead and then creating it. Let's now go and then look at the schedule. Now go there. I will now go to what tools. Yeah. I will now go to the tools and then I go to what schedule to process. I go to the tools and then schedule process. I will now go to the tool schedule process and then whatever the 884 is coming from the generate count schedule is not It is now succeeded actually. Now succeeded. So the count schedule is now created actually. The count schedule is now created. And you will not try to see the output of it. I click on it. You will not have a look at the output. Generate count schedules. So count schedule is now completed. So today, what you have to count, it is now completed actually. I click on it. You will not have a look at the output. It is not a report, and so we cannot republish it. We can only view the whatever the log file and then have a look at it. The count schedule is now created. You will not have a look at the log file and then have a look at it. Generate count schedule is one. So go there. So click on the lock file of it and then have a look at it now. Click on the lock file. So open the lock file and then see. It. Go down, go down, go down. And see whether any good indicators there. Now. So many things are there. You're unable to understand it now. Is that cyclic on daily? And the one now. So count schedule is created. There are three things are there on this. <laughs> three lines has to be uh, what was counted actually. <laughs> Count schedule is now created for three no, every item. You are not giving this number. So click on again. Okay, no, no. I'll not go over that. Come on. Then what happens? We, are, we again make a search. No, fine. Whenever you complete any activity, what happens? You make a search again. No, fine. Click on it. I'll not perform a search again. No, fine. Click on search. Now searching again. We search it and then again do go to the next action. You are not searching on it. Fine. Go there. You go to actions and then the generate count schedule is completed. Now what happens? We will not see the count sequences. So click on the generate count sequences. And click on the generate count sequences. So count sequences are going to be generated next. So the count sequences are nothing but what? The 1001, 1002, 1003, and then 1004 all the count sequences actually. You're going to create it. You will not go there. And you will not create the count sequences actually. So now your concurrent will be running for generating the count sequences actually. Your concurrent will be running for generating the count sequences now. The process is submitted. Can click on again. So it's not done now. It's not done. And then we'll now go to the monitor process and then have a look at it. So the count sequence is generated. Generate count sequence is now complete. Count sequence is completed. And then here, what you have done is what? Uh, we are done what? We are not done what? Generate count sequences are not completed. Generate count sequences is completed. So, generate count sequences. So, no reason running it's running. So, the, both the things are having the same name only. They're having the same name. Now, we will not run a listing of this now. We are going to run a listing. So, by which, what happens? You cannot see what has been generated now. 
So now how will you start the code? So it is not running, running, running. So once it is completed, it will not run the listing program. It will not succeed enough and you the count. So click on the schedule new process fine. I will not say list cyclic counting. You are going to list it. So listing will not printing it on the printer actually. But we don't have any printer here. And so whatever we will be doing it actually. So click on the schedule new process and then we'll not do the listing of it. This has become slow actually. <laughs> we can't help it. This is what's called the list percentage fine. CYC percentage and give it a listing of the cyclic counting list and then give it a list percentage fine. Oh God, I don't know. I'll say CYC percentage fine, list percentage and then query for it. So cyclic counting listing. No sales. It's not coming. Print cyclic counting listing report. So psych, that is it. So list not psych. Now I, I entered a list psych and then it is a psych is listed. I click on OK. You choose it and then we are going to do it. So click on OK. And now pass on the parameter actually. You know, pass on all the parameters, whatever it is asking for. We are going to print it. It will be printing on a printer actually. Pass on the respective parameters also. What do you want to print actually? So organization is what? I don't say T101 is the one thing go there. Cyclic count is what? T10 and then give a tap. So both are mandatory fields actually. So we can even say from which to which you want to print now. Fine. No way. Otherwise, what I'm going to leave everything now. Fine. No. So we can even leave the other ones. They are not mandatory actually. Fine. Display serial number. I will not say yes. Display on and quantity also. I will not make it as yes. You will not display it. So these two things are normally fine. Show only re recount sequence numbers. No. I want everything. Only recount. So I want to print everything. Fine. So, what is, so serial numbers are displayed, and then on and count is also displayed. Fine. Click on submit. Now, fine. Which what am I now getting completed? So click on submit. Which what am I? It gets completed. Actually. So now we are submitting it, and then we will have a look at the output of it. <laughs> have a look at the output, and then that will be printed on the printer, and then we will know. Let take as a parchi actually. You know, take it as a parchi and then you know, do it. So, you know, submitting it, fine. So, the listing process is now getting completed. Will be in our company. We have a 132 uh, columns a dot matrix printer. So on that order, it will be printed, and then we will now put a scale and then remove every slip actually, counting slips. We call them as a parchi. So every parchi will be clubbed together, and then let's say we are having 50 parchis. So there are five inventory boys. Everybody will be hand over 10 10 parchis to make a count. They will go into into the inventory, and then they will now perform a counting actually. So that way it works now. Fine. So now. You know, submit it. Fine, click on again. We know how we're going to click on it. And then go there. And then we will know. If it's not going away, we have to give a cancel and then come away. So we'll you know, wait for it. And then we'll know. Look at the, since there is a report actually, fine. Print cycle count listing report. We can very well republish it actually. With the report, we can very well republish it. You know, one hour ago. Well, the instance has become slow, and so what I was <laughs> there is a problem. And sometimes when it goes slow, we only have to live with that speed of it. When click on again, fine, not the process is submitted, and click on okay, and then close it and then look at the output. So go there. So click on refresh now, fine, go there. I'll show you this. So cyclic counting listing report is now running. Is not coming. So once when the listing is completed, whatever that we can even have a look at it too. Hmm. 
So once when it comes, we can very well look at it and then we'll not analyze it also too. Okay, then we'll not see it tomorrow, right? From this point on, they will not have a look at it tomorrow, right? Not coming at all. So now, bye for now, and then we will not meet at 3 p.m. tomorrow, and then we will not continue on it. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Hi, welcome back all of you. Nana here, and then we are at the next day's program on this fusion inventory implementation. So let me go and share my screen. <coughs> So you're not sharing it actually. So uh, yesterday we have seen this now, right? Before which, what happens? You're logging, recollect everything. In this place, we have now created three items. CC1 is a no control item, which has got 51 quantities. And then CC2 is a lot control item. We have got two lots, lot 10 and then lot 20. Lot 10 has got two quantities. And then lot 20 has got three quantities. And then CC3 has got serial control. We have got three serial numbers of 101, 102, and 103. So the purpose is what we are going to go into the uh, inventory and then count these items actually. And then we are creating three classes also and then go there. And then we are now given the sequence number of starting sequence number as 1001 and then it will now go up to 1004. So there are four sequences there. So we had to count it actually. So we then the generate the schedule and then generate the sequence numbers also and then we are not done the listing also. So we are done the listing also. We will now go there and then have a look at the listing actually. Go there. So I will now go to what tools? I will now go to the tools now. I will now go to the tools. And then you go to the scheduled process and then look at the listing actually. So let me query on my SCM10 actually. Search and then put SCM10. So whatever we are run as a concurrent, it will be coming in a final search. It will be having enough final account. So it is not coming. So let me do the timing. I will now remove the timing and then make a search now. The timing, I will now remove it and then make a search. I will not show you an final account search now. It will not show you all the concurrence which have been done by SCM10 actually. So there, one print cyclic counting listing report is there. So we will not republish it. It is a report. We can very well republish it actually. So you know, coming right. So the print moment request pick slip report is there. Print moment request is there. Right. Somebody is, is also working on it now. Fine, same thing. So I will now go down. Right. This is all print moment request. Now. I will now say uh, print uh, cyclic. I will now query on this. So I will now give further queries when click on search. My print cyclic counting is a print cyclic counting is the one fine. Nothing is coming. Uh, I will now say percentage C Y C percentage, and then make a search. Now click on search. Now see whether this query will now give you results. Actually, that is also not coming now. Oh God! Uh, it is again a print. Mm, Listing now, fine. LIS list. We will not see whether it is a listing or not. Print listing. So it is not a printing itself. I will not say list. It may begin with a list. Now, fine. Click on search. Yeah. It is always a listing now, fine. So print cycle counting listing report. Now. Yeah, some or other, what happens? We got it actually. Select it and then go there, go down. And then at the bottom, what happens? I am going to republish it. So click on republish. So print cycle counting listing report was run yesterday. When click on the republish, we are now going to republish it. So click on the star icon, export to PDF. We are now exporting it to PDF. Export to PDF. Is that coming? Click on it and then open up. So now we got a report actually. We got a report. So here, uh, all the four sequence numbers are there. So in my example, what happens? I have now closed this and close this. In my example, I have now given CC1 for 1001 for CC1, which is a no control item. But in this song, what happens? The, the no control item has been given what? 1003 actually. So it has now taken the lot control item as a first item. And then afterwards, what happens? It has now gone there. <clears throat> uh, it has now gone there. And then what happens? Oh, 
1002 is fine 1001 is a basically a lot control item 1003 is a basically a no control item and then 1004 is a serial control item <clears throat> fine that way it's coming now i click on it so it all so 1001 is a lot control item so 1001 is a lot control item so here cc2 is coming and then it has got two system quantities actually now we are going to go on the inside of the uh, inside of the inventory and count so everything is basically a slip actually hmm. so here Uh, everything is a slip actually fine if you, if you see in the line uh, we normally print it on a 132 column uh, dat matrix printer and then the 132 column if you print it what happens it will be coming as what as a slip actually we call them as a parchi so there may be some 50 parchis are there and then there are five inventory boys we will now hand over 10 10 parchis to every inventory boy i will ask them to go inside and count so it is now showing us two quantities he will now count how much it is and then he will now enter on this and then he will now put his comments also in the comments if there is any damage you will now see And then counted by you will not say Aishwarya Rai, whom so has counted. What am I going to do it now? Fine. Minus <coughs> bonus. So now, what am I going to do there? Click on it. So, so one thousand two is the one. <clears throat> so uh, now he will now count uh, the person who has gone inside will now count, and then he will now put his name also who has counted, and then all the numbers is counted, and then come on. Now the inventory in charge will now make an entry. Now the person who is sitting before the computer. So there is an inventory. So before which what happens? The computer operator will be there. He will now do an entry here. No? He will now do an entry here. <clears throat> There is an entry which is going to make it now. Okay? So all the sequences we will not make an entry actually. And what else? So remember we have a ten percent plus or minus. Ten percent plus or minus is there. It's called your tolerance actually. We'll now go there. We'll now right click and then duplicate. Now what you are going to do is we'll now go and then have a look at it. Okay, we'll go. We'll now go to the home. Okay, click on the home. Hmm. Go there. So you go to supply chain execution now. Okay, we'll now go to the supply chain execution. And then I go to the inventory management. And then I go to the cyclic counting directly. Click on it. So the organization has been changed actually. Fine. You click on it. I will not go to the manage. I manage manage quantities, and then from there I will not change the organization to T one zero one. No, fine. Click on it. So click on the manage item quantities. From there I will not change the R to T one zero one. No, fine. Click on change R. I will not do it. What? What? T one zero one. And then give it a tap, and then click on okay. You know, change the R T one zero one. No, fine. Click on it. Now what you do is we go there. I will not go to what. Drop it down, and then go to the counts. You go to the counts now. Fine. We are in the counts actually. Fine. Click on it. And then here, what about? We'll now go to the create cycle counting. Fine. Click on the create counting. I will now go to the create cycle counting. Not the create actually. Fine. I will now go to the manage cycle counting. I will go. To, you will cancel now. I will go to the manage cycle counts. So click on done now. Mm -hmm. I will now have a look at fun. You click on it. I will now go to the manage cycle counts. So click on count and then go to the manage cycle counts. So once when you go to the manage cycle, this is the only count which is coming. Now. People have done the entry now, fine. They have gone to the field now, fine. They have gone to the field. Where is the table? What? Oh, uh, that output file. I don't know where exactly. There is no go on now. The output. This is the one. The output. So now uh, there are four slips are there. So everybody has gone inside and then they have now counted and then they have entered the details. Now we are going to enter these details. They they are now brought back the. Slips and then handed over to the uh, computer operator who is sitting in in front of the computer uh, inventory. Actually, now the inventory in charge is now going to make an entry for all the four. So you now make an entry now. So go there. I will now go to what you go to the manage cycle counts. You go to actions and then here what happens? I will now say what happens? Record cycle counts. So he will now record the cycle count now. Fine. The record cycle count is going to do. So we then already the sequence is fine. Schedules and sequences we already done. Now you don't go to record the cycle. So this will be done by the in, uh, the computer operator. Now, click on record cycle counts. So click on the record cycle counts. You don't go to record it for this one. For this one, you don't go to record all the cycle counts. 
So click on it, and then we'll now go to the next step, and then from that, we will now record the cons. No, record the cons. So once it is recorded, you're going to save it actually. And remember, the re, the what's called, uh, it has to be recounted once if it is beyond the tolerance actually. If it is going to be beyond the tolerance, we have to recount it once. In the meantime, what happens? You go there, and click on it. I will know what happens. You go there, click on it. Uh, right click on that. What happens? The duplicate now. The duplicate. So here you go there, click on it. Now it's coming. So 1001 is a sequence number for CC2. Fine, go there. So here, what happens? That he will now see what exactly it is now. In this place, 1001, CC2, it has got a system quantity of two only. So let us say he is now counted as three actually. Go there. He will now go there. He will now, what happens? You go to the mana cycle counts. He is now entering the count quantity is three. He has now counted three now. Now it is more than 10% actually. It is more than 10%. Two is now counted as three means what? It is more than 10%. He will now put the appropriate reason also. Will drop down, you will not say what happens. You go down, you will not put the reason also. So, you will not enter the reasons, and then if any count is there, recommended, comment is also there, you will not say, Is there any damages are there? You will not take it. So, you go there, you will not put the reasons also if, if it is applicable. Actually, you will not say uh, expired product or whatever it is, uh, something you know, doing it. Radhika, gas on the chair. <laughs> now, in the next one, what happens? It is now counted as three now. Fine. He is now going to count it as four. You know, you know, go there. <laughs> you know, go there. You will not enter it as four. Three is counted as four. CC one. It is a no no control. Don't find go there. It is a fifty one quantity actually. Fine. Fifty one. He is not going to enter as what forty seven actually. Don't go there. You will not enter as forty seven. Forty seven means what? It is well within the tolerance actually. It is well within the tolerance of ten percent. And so what happens? The stock gets suggested. Whereas the first one is more than ten percent. The second one is also more than ten percent. The third one is less than ten percent. And then on the serial numbers, fine go there. Count. And then here. And uh, the last one is basically a, a serial number now, 102, 103. So now 102 is missing, let us say. 102 is missing. You will not go there. You will not say he is now finding only two now. Fine. Click on tab. If you give a tab, in this place, what happens? Yeah, hyperlink is coming. Fine. Click on the hyperlink. And then we have to say which one is missing now. Fine. Click on the hyperlink. Fine. <laughs> Click on the hyperlink. And then we have to say which serial number is missing, actually. We are going to say which serial number is missing. Fine. So here, what happens if you see, what happens? I will not say. Uh, Count serial number quantity, fine, go there. 101 is there. Record the, record the count, fine. Yes, put in it. Then one is now counted. So 50% is now counted. And then 103 is also there. Now. I have not put it. Then what about the 100% count is complete. So out of three, only two is there. So 103, if you put a tick mark, then 100% of the count is complete, actually. Now click on save and close by which what happens if you are not counted. 102 is missing. Right, click on save and close. <laughs> now, it is also beyond the count. Beyond the <laughs> Now, what happens? We cannot see. CC1, 2 plus 3 is now counted as 3 and 4, whereas CC1 is now 47, 51 is now counted as 47, which is now less than 10%, and this is one number is missing now. I click on submit, by which what happens, uh, the count entries are made actually. So click on submit, the count entries are made actually. So the count entries are made, click on it. three count sequences are marked as count. Out of four, three of them has marked as marked for recount actually. Three of them are marked for recount, because what happens, uh, only one is now adjusted actually. So the CC1, 51 has been counted as, a, what happens, 41, it is adjusted actually. Whereas CC2, which is now beyond 10%, it is now marked for recount. The CC2, what happens, this one, lot 20, it is also beyond the 10%, it is also marked as recount. And then here also, what happens, one is missing, it is also beyond the tolerance, what happens, it is now marked as a recount. So so three count sequences are marked for recount actually. Okay, okay. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. We'll now go there and then have a look at it. Right, right. We'll now go to the placement. Right. I will not go to this and then uh, go there. Uh, okay. Uh, the one, click, on, click on the whole number. Okay, I answer now. I think you can answer. <clears throat> go there. So you will not go and then look at the stock. No, I click on the home icon. You will not have a look at the stock. So go there. I will not go to the inventory management and then have a look at the stock. Click on it. Go to what? Inventory and then have a look at the stock. 
manage item quantity, the one fine click on the manage item quantity, and then we'll now have a look at the stock of this organization, T101. Fine click on search, it will show you the stock of all the items. Only three items are there, because no item has been given, everything will be shown over here. So go there. So now you can see that what happens, CC2, fine. CC2 is five only. Three plus two is five. The stock is not adjusted. CC3 is three, and then one is missing. The stock is not yet adjusted. And then CC4, fine, it is only one. It is not meant for counting at all. So nothing has been counted. And then CC1, which is 57, it has been counted as 47. And so since it is less than 40, well, less than that 10% uh, tolerance, it has got adjusted. So CC2, lot 10 and lot 20 is not adjusted. And then uh, what happens? the CC1 is only adjusted. And then CC3 is also not adjusted. CC2 is lot 1 and lot, lot 10 to lot 20. It is not adjusted. This is also not adjusted. So three count sequences have been marked for recount actually. It has been marked for recount. Fine, go there. What is the place now? Fine, go there. I will now what happens. Go there. So manage cycle counts. Fine, go there. I will now make a search again now. Fine, go on. We are not, it has been marked for recount actually. So click on it. Fine, go there. So I will now expand it. I will now make a search now. Fine, click on search. Not the manager in bodies. I will now go to the what? Cycle count entries. Fine, go there. I will now go to the manage. Manager in bodies. Okay, everything is now coming as a manager in bodies. <laughs> so now what happens? I will go there. I will now what happens? Go there. I will now drop it down. I will now go to the counts. <laughs> So drop it down. I will now go to the counts. Now, fine, click on the counts. <clears throat> and then go to the manage cycle counts. Fine, click on the manage cycle counts. And there's only one is come. So now I will now again do the counting. Now we have already again sent the people. Now, fine. So the people have already gone. So what happens? 1001, they have to count. And then 1002 also, they have to count. <clears throat> 1003 is already adjusted. And then 1004, they have to count. So 1, 2, and 4, they have to recount actually. It has now gone for a recount actually. If you go to the place, fine, go there. And then they have recounted and then they brought the values. Let us say this is the same value. They brought it and then here 1001, they have again counted as only three. And then this is also as a four. And then this is also only two. And then 1002 is missing. So the people have gone inside and then made the same count. Now what happens? We are going to do the entry now. Frankly, we're not, we're not go there. We're not go to the manage cycle counts. And then go to actions and then go to what? Again, record cycle counts. So one, two, and four has to be recorded. Now. Frankly, on it. Record cycle counts. Now one, two, and four. Three is already adjusted. So we'll go there, fine. I will now make it as a two now. So two, three is now made as four now. And then here again, what happens the two? So once you put it to, it will now give a hyperlink here. Fine, click on it, give a tap. It will now have a hyperlink, fine, click on it. It will now say which is missing actually. Go there. So now it is available. And then 1003 is also available. <clears throat> and, go there. and then that is the one. And click on save and close by which we are not completing the account. Now, again, this is more than 10%. This is also more than 10%. This is also more than 10%. But nothing will be sent for recount because the maximum number of recount is now set to one only. So now everything, all the adjustments will be processed actually. Right? All the adjustments will be processed and then nothing will go for a recount actually. Because only maximum, one recount is only allowed. Right? So we are not in the recount and then we are now entered this fine click on submit now. Now what happens if you go on and see what happens? Every, all the adjustments. So two count sequences are submitted for approval actually. Now, they have gone for approval. Nothing has been sent for recount at all. Two count sequences have been submitted for approval. Fine, click on them. So, it's not gone for approval, actually. Fine, click on it. It's not gone for approval. Fine. Now, what happens? You go there. I have not go to what? Actions approved. What happens? Uh, record pre-approved count sequences. Record count sequences. Approved cycle counts. Now, remember, now this guy is a person who is sitting before the machine and then making a data entry. So, data entry people should not have the approved count. So, Approved cycle counts should not be available for the data entry operator. Only for the inventory in charges, it must be available. So I have given an inventory manager role. So the inventory manager role allows him to approve. So now we have to customize the role and then remove this entry at all. Entry for the data entry operator. That I will be teaching it in the next video. Next video I will be teaching you. Fine. How to remove the approved cycle counts for the data entry operator. Now go there. He is not going to approve it now. Click on it. So click on the approved cycle counts. He is not going to approve it. Mm -hmm. well, click on it. And then we are going to approve the cycle count actually. So you will not click on it and then you will not approve the cycle. So go there. So is one now fine. Go there. You're not coming. <clears throat> so go there. Approve status what? You click on the approve, approve status, fine. Click on it. You now say what happens. Pending approval is the one. Fine. Go there. Click on it. I will not put it. And go there. Enter now. A recon not submitted. I don't want it. Now fine. Rejected. Detected. Uh, approved not submitted. Fine. Go there. Pending approval. Fine. Entering. Go there. So now, what about, these are the only two, two things that has been come for approval, actually, is the pending approval. 1002 and then 1004. Fine, 1002. So it is now gone there, now fine, click on it. So is the one now fine. Whatever has come for approval, fine, you will now select it and then you will not perform an approval. So go there, click on it. I will now select the next one also. So he is going to approve it now, fine, click on it. No going to approve it. So go there, go to this place, fine, click on it. <clears throat> action, I will now click on the action now, fine, click on the action. Uh, if you see the action, you will now see it now, fine, click on it. 
the action is not coming fine for the comment uh, nothing is basically visible you know one second no fine the floating counter no fine comment so go there so the action is there now fine you want it nothing is really visible actually because no action is recorded if i click on save fine you want it count quantity the primary suggested quantity is one three fine click on save fine click on save you know saving it actually uh no the pending approval so we must have an explicit approve button now fine you want it so i want to select both and then click on approve this approve so we can now approve it directly and remember, this approval has to be done only by the inventory in charges. Now, fine, click on approve. You're not going to approve it. No, click on approve. You're not getting approved. So, comments, fine. Uh, uh, agree. Agree with the counting of inventory boys. So, he says that, okay, I agree. Fine, click on approve. You're not going to approve it. So, two are selected, and then what happens is not getting approved, actually. So, once when you approve it, what happens is Everything will be getting approved now. <clears throat> the pending approval will not change it one. So the inventory judge is agreeing. Whatever the people have done, they have done, they have gone to the inventory twice and then they have done it now. And then what happens is now gone. So you go there, click on it. I will not say what happens. Whatever is approved, also you want to see. Entry now. So click on it. You want to see the entry now. Entry now. Click on it. It won't show whatever has been approved. As, everything is approved actually. One, two, three, four, all are uploaded actually, and everything will be done. So, if you go to the what, if you go and then see that what happens, you go there and have a look at what the stock it will not show the new stock. Now, go there, so now go to the inventory and click on the inventory and then look at the new stock. So, go there, now go to the inventory and then have a look at the stock. Go to the manager item quantities and then have a look at it. And then T1011, right click on search. So here we will now see the first item, the CC1. So the CC1 was 57, it has been counted as 47, it is now approved. CC2 was having 2 plus 3, it was counted as what? 3 plus 4 now. So 2 plus, uh, so 2 plus 3, and then what happens? It has now gone to 6 actually, expand it. One of them has not been approved at all. Fine, expand it. Fine. I, it must not have gone, got submitted for approval, or some, some problem has happened now. Fine, so expand it, you now see the lot such. So 2 plus 3 has been submitted as 3 plus 4. So you now see which one is which lot is not approved. Actually. They're not gone to lot 10 is 2. 2 has been counted as 3, but I might have made a mistake actually. By mistake, what happens? I might have entered only 2 actually. So it must have got approved. Right? Had it been 3, it will be coming now. Right? So is a 2 and then this is a 3. 3 has been entered as 4, it is not coming forward. CC3 is that only 2 now. Right? If we expand it, we will now see 1001 and then 1003 only will be there. Expand it. You can now see the serial numbers which are there now. Thank you for it. You can now see the serial numbers. So go there, expand it. And then see the serial numbers. Mm -hmm. the placement. So you can see the, if you go to the law details, fine, they're not coming. Uh, I will not keep on the cursor on the sub one now, fine. Uh, as a CCD, the serial numbers, fine, click on it. You can now see 1,101 and 103 are only available. You can click on it and then enter it. You can enter it. Only two serial numbers will be available. 1,101 and 103. So one, two, or not two is missing now. So this way, what happens? The cyclic counting works actually. CC4. What happens is it is not a cycle count enabled item. We have one stock. There is no showing you straight away. So there I made a mistake on the 10 actually. I would have entered 3, but I have not entered properly because of which what happens is it is not done. <clears throat> so, okay, man. so this completes cyclic counting. Any doubts? Have you understood it? Anybody can say yes to me. Cyclic counting is understood. Can you say yes to me? <clears throat> Okay, understand that you have now understood it. Okay, fine. Click on the Now we will now go to the physical inventories. So the physical inventories will be done once in a year, actually. We'll be doing the physical inventories one in a day. Fine. Go there, click on it. We'll now do it only once in a year. And then it will be done on all the items actually. Go there. I will now go to the counts. Now fine. Go to the counts. And then here, physical inventories. Now. Fine. Go there. I will now go to the manage physical inventories. So these are all the cyclic counting. I will now go to the what? Manage physical inventories. Manage physical inventories. Fine. Go there. So click on it. We will now go to the manage physical inventories. I will now go to the manage physical inventories. Fine. Go there. Click on create. I am now going to create a physical inventory. Click on plus. And then let us now create a physical inventory. I will now say the T10. Fine. Physical. Fine. Underscore INV. Physical inventory. So take a copy of it and then click on the description. So go there. Click on it. And then here it will be normally counting all sub inventories. So approved type is what? You put the out of tolerance. Fine. 
So here there is no tolerance coming to picture. Fine. Okay. Approval type is always no man. We had to always approve. We had to always approve. And then we can even give a tolerance of let's say 10%. Because the yeah, auditor will be sitting on this no fine. There will not be any percentage when everything it will always be approved. So an external auditor will be sitting before the inventory and then they will not count everything. And then once when the count is completed, he is not going to certify it actually. So once when the inventory is certified, let us say it is now 35 crores worth of inventory is there. So now that will go into the profit and loss statement of your company actually. Fine. It will now go into the profit and loss statement of the company. So go there. So go there. No, no. <clears throat> so go there. No, no. Now what happens? Tax type is default. It will be creating tax there. Here now sequences. Here it will be crown. So which sequence you want to do it now? Sequence and supplementary locate the item revision. Fine. That sequence you can very well change actually. So based upon which the tag generation will not take place. The starting default tag, I will not say 2001 is the starting default tag. I'm not giving a starting default tag. So creation of this thing is really very good. Fine. You exclude negative balances. Fine. If there is anything which is negative, what happens? There? Please exclude it. Don't count it at all. So go there. Click on it. And then click on save and close by which what happens? The physical inventory is now getting created actually. So click on save and close by which what happens? We are now completed creation of a physical inventory actually. So the physical inventory is now created. Now we'll not do one by one on this. So once when this is completed, we'll now go to the actions and then do activities one by one actually. The physical inventory is now created. So it is now a year end job actually. This is for certifying your profit and loss statement and then the balance sheets by the external auditor. So external auditor will now come and then physically st stand over the inventory and then do the counting actually. He will not do it, but others will be doing it and then he will be watching it actually. You go to actions, no bank, go to actions, and then generate physical inventory snapshot. So once when a snapshot of the inventory is taken, you should not perform any transaction at all. Then click on the generate physical inventory snapshot. So why, what was it? You'll not do it now. Right? A snapshot is now getting created now. So once when the snapshot, fine, the process was submitted actually. So go there. Now what happens? Once when the snapshot, the number, it will say when it was scared, fine, a snapshot date will be coming. So you go to the monitor process, fine. Monitor. And then go there. I will now go to the monitor process. If I click on it, I will now go on and have a look at the monitor. Mm -hmm. So go there, click on it. I will now go to the monitor process. You go to the tools. Now, if I go to the tools, tools, and then here, what that? you go to the scheduled process. And then have a look at it. So we can even monitor the process. So a snapshot has been taken now. I click on it. So now, what happens? You go there and then click on search and click on operation. Now, what happens? A snapshot is now going to run. So go there, click on it. Is CM10 only fine with it. <clears throat> so it is not running explicitly as a as a as a, as a job, it is now internally running. So it's not running inventory. So I'll now go to the placement. No, close it, I'll no, close it. And that is not running internally. Fine. If you go to the inventory management, you click on okay, no, fine. It's not running internally. Yeah, this is the one. So if you go and then make a search again, no, fine, click on it. No, it is a manage section. So go there. So click on okay, no, fine. not coming at all. So print cyclic count listing report is coming from the, I will now go to the home icon. I click on the home icon. <clears throat> the manage physical inventory is one. I will now go to the, uh, what's called this one now. The application error is So click on it. We will now go to the counts and then look at the one. I click on it. We will now go to the counts. I click on the counts. So go to the counts and then what happens? We will now see manage physical inventory. So go to the manage physical inventory. Fine, go there. I will now make a search. No, click on search. We got one physical inventory being created. I will now go to the actions. And so the generation of physical inventory snapshot is now completed. You can now see the snapshot taken date is now coming. It is now taken the snapshot. Now we will now generate the tax. Fine, click on the generate physical inventory tax. So the tax are getting generated. Your process was submitted 040. Fine. So right click and then duplicate. And then whatever they now see the snapshot coming up. So the snapshot, the tags are getting generated for counting it. The tags are getting counted, generated for counting. Go there. Go there. So click on the home icon and then I go to the supply chain execution and then have a look. Home icon. I'll now go to our tools and then the schedule to process the tools. And then go to the schedule process. Now the tags are getting generated actually. So refresh it. You see, the tag generation has to come now. No, coming quite oh, soon. Is the CM10 only? He has only done it. So I'll now remove it and then make a search. No, thank you for search. 
you know why the tank generation is not coming up. No succeed. After the physical inventory, oh God, and I made this now. Remove the list and then make it now fine. Remove the list and then SCM 10 and then make a search now fine. So on the left hand side, we have a list actually. It is not coming. It will not show the tag generation ESS job coming up. So go there. So general physical inventory tags is now succeeded. Thank you. We'll not try to what happens to see now when the snapshot is also run. You know that. Go there. Go there. So click on the hyperlink on this now. I click on it. You know, open the log. Open the log. Go to log. So it's now showing that what happens the number of tags created is six actually. Six tags have been created actually. So click on close. Now what happens? We go there and then count it actually. Go there, count. So tags have been created. Fine, click on it. Generate physical element tags. No I will not record the tags. So the people will be going and then there will be what happens? They will not see the print also. Long go click on it. Long go to the schedule new process. We are not ready to print it actually. Print physical inventory listing actually. So go there. I will now say percentage PHY fine physical INV percentage and then give it no fine. It has to be printed actually. Physical inventory fine go there. So print physical inventory tax report. This is one. So print physical inventory tax report fine click on okay no fine no I print it actually. So there are six tags which have been generated. So that we are going to print it now. Fine click on okay. We'll be printing those six tags actually. Print physical inventory tag reports. Now go on and print it actually. So print it. Fine, go there. So organizations what T 101 is the one thing. Go there. The physical inventory we have got only one physical inventory being created. We are going to choose it. Now fine, click on it. And then no specific sub inventory. Fine, go there. Remaining and leave it blank. And then click on submit. It will not do for everything. Fine, click on submit. It will not do for all. Because we have, done, we have got only one sub inventory here. Otherwise what happens all the sub inventory can even make it blank and then do it now. Now it is not running. Now fine, click on it. 049 is running. Will not refresh it and then have a look at it. So click on it. Will not refresh it. So we are not refreshing it. Fine, click on it. So generate physical inventory tags is running. Now the tags is now getting printed actually. The tags are getting printed. So the tags are created. It's now getting printed actually. So we'll now wait for the concurrent to complete and then we'll now republish the report because if the report we can very well republish it. No republish. So go there, click on it. It's now succeeded. Fine, click on it. You keep a cursor on this now and then select the, and then republish the report actually. Go there. We'll now republish the report. In the bottom will be having a republishing of the report. Now, like so once it is replaced, it will not tell you all the six ones which are ready now. Fine. Click on the republish report. And then click on the wheel icon, export to PDF. Click on the wheel icon, export to PDF. It is now getting exported. Fine. Click on this and then it will not show all the six. So there are six. Tags are there actually. The six tags are there. You know, the first tag. No, no, no. So go there. So it is a sub one fine. No control item is there. Fine. There's no 40 the one in the counter fine. Go there. No, no. And then the system quantity will not be shown to the counter at all because the audit is now sitting before. C C2. Fine. C2. Fine. Go there. No. If the 2002 is the one. Fine. Now it is only having only two quantities. It's not showing you. And then 2003 is also C2. It's now having four quantities actually. And then afterwards, what happens? Go there. 2004 fine, is a CC3. Fine. And then 2005 is CC3. And then CC4 also is coming. So CC4 has not been enabled for cyclic counting, but it is available for a physical inventory. Actually. CC4 has been not enabled for not enabled for cyclic counting, but in physical inventory it is coming. In the CC2 we have got two, two serial numbers. So each and every serial number it will now create a, what happens a slip actually. So there are six slips are there. So these six slips will be teared off and then handed over to the inventory boys. They will now go inside and then they will now perform a count actually, and then they will now come back. So it is not enough time to count. So what happens? We are now going to enter the count sequences now. We now go to the manage sequence. So uh, the sequence is now done. We go to, go to actions and then here what happens? I am now going to what? Uh, record physical inventory tax. We are going to record it now. So we are going to report now. Click on it. So after generating the physical inventory tax, we are done the listing also, and then afterwards we are going to record it now. Fine. Click on the record. Listing is not coming here. Listing is now done explicitly by us. Now. So we are now going to record it. Fine. Click on record physical inventory tax. Now we are going to record the physical inventory tax which have been counted actually. So yeah, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, everything is coming. So the no control item, what happens? What is the one? What happens? I will not say forty-five. So he has no count as forty-five. And remember, he cannot see anything at all. The because the counter cannot see how much is the system quantity actually. In the previous case, we are able to see the system quantity, whereas here we cannot see the system quantity at all. C C two is not two now. Fine, go there. I will not say five. And then another C C two. What happens? I will not say six. No, fine. It's four actually. The four is no count as six. Five and six. The serial control item can be either present or absent. No, I don't say 101 is there. Fine, 101 is yes. No, fine, one. 
and the 103, what happens is now saying missing. So in this one also, CC2, if you want to see the lot numbers, now I click on it, we can very well see them. I'm not expanding it actually. C2. Now here, what happens, I don't know. We have to view the lot number also. Right? You go to the view and then go to the columns and then show the lot. Lot numbers can be seen actually. Where is the lot? Lot is not there at all. I will not enable the additional information. Additional information is not a one not time in additional information. So there is no such additional it's only a lot of the room. But we can very well see the lot actually. I don't know how to see it actually. See to of which lot. Oh, yeah. If you select it in the bottom, you can see it. In the bottom, you can very well see it is lot 10 actually. It's lot 10. So lot 10 is having two quantities. We are now called as five. And then if you go to the next line, now fine, go to the next line. It is lot 20 actually. It is lot 20. We are now called as what? We are having what uh, four quantities is now called as six. So there is a discrepancy everywhere. And this is the only one, fine, CC3. Fine, 2004 is the only count where it is exactly matching. So the remaining will now go for an approval. Here also CC4, what happens? I will not say what happens is zero or three. CC4. CC4 is not enabled for cyclic counting, but we can very well perform a cyclic physical inventory for this. So everywhere there is a problem except 2004 tag. Fine, that is exactly matching. All of the things are in a mismatch actually. So click on save and close. Now what happens? Uh, the audit has to approve. Out of six, five years to approve. So click on save and close. So the entries of the records of the physical count activity which has been done has been entered now. You cannot see the count. And then there is no tolerance at all. Each and everything has to be approved. In cycle counting, if it is within the tolerance, it gets automatically adjusted actually. Here, nothing will get adjusted. So everything has to be approved by that. What's called your uh, auditor actually, external auditor. No, no. Now what happens? It is being submitted order. So now what happens? Only auditors will have the power to approve. So I will not tell you for others how to remove this approval actually. Fine. We will not see what how to approve the approval. Fine. The approve physical inventory adjust first. Thank you. Now only inventory in charge or the auditors will be having this tag. Fine. So I will not tell you about how to do it now. So five of them needs an approval actually. Suppose that is not pending. Fine. So he is still not approved the first one. Fine. The first one has not been approved. The second one and all he is not approving it. So I will not change it to what approve. Now, if the audit is not doing approval on all, what happens is nothing will happen at all. And click on it. No go there. So click on it. I'll not go to what approve. Go there. Click on it. No go to the approve. So one of them he is not taking any action at all. That is not correct at all. Go there. If one of them is not taking an action, what happens? Is nothing will be processed actually. No adjustments will be processed actually. What is the one is now counted as 45? So the auditor will now have a look at it. Fine. This is zero. Four was there. He has now counted as six. Fine. And then the one is there. Is now called as three now. Fine, this is a CC4 actually. The CC2 two is there. Fine, the five is there. And then one more serial number, 2004 serial number. Fine, and the account number that is already uh, same one, so that is not coming in for approval at all. The remaining are coming for approval. And remember, one of them he has not taken an action. And click on save and close. So click on save and close. And then we will not try to process the adjustment. Fine, right? you know, he has now what happens approved certain thing. Not some one of them is not pending. Fine, because I can't, I will not say uh, post physical inventory adjustments. This will not happen at all. Because everything has to be either approved or rejected. Fine, click on the post inventory adjustment. You cannot post the adjustment. Adjustment requires approval or still in pending status. So what happens? He has to say either approved or rejected. Then only you can post it actually. Fine, it's not possible. I will not go there. I will not again. What happens? Approve physical inventory. I will not again. So each and everything. One of them is only coming. The remaining is already approved now. Fine, not change it to approved. You can even reject it also. So only one of them is coming. I go there. So click on save and close. Now we can very well post it now. So click on save and close. Now the auditor has approved it. Now we go there, click on post physical inventory adjustments. It will not get post back. So click on it. It will be getting post. And then click on OK. Now a concurrent will be running for posting this. Now click on it. It will be posted actually. So go there. It will submit it. I will go to the monitor also and have a look at it. Now click on it. Now click on the home icon and then have a look at it. So go to the tools and then go to the schedule process. And then now you can now see that what happens. The processing is happening. So only when everything is now approved or rejected, then only we can post it. Otherwise, it's not possible. The post physical inventory adjustment has to be number. Tag is generated. Everything is not up. So now the posting of the physical inventory now is not running. It is now succeeded actually. So click on it. Now succeeded. Have a look at the output. Now click on that. So it is not having. It is not a report actually. So we had only. Uh, click on this attachment and then click on, no text. And click on it. Now what happens is coming, 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 coming. 
with it. So number of adjustments process is fine now. Successfully process is fine. One is already adjusted. Now. So in errors is nothing. Now, now go there and then have a look at the stock now. Fact upon it. Now go to the place. Now go and look at the stock. I will not go to what? <clears throat> go there. You will not go to supply chain execution and go to the inventory management and then have a look at the stock. Go there. An application reference. Ah, refresh it. Okay, not refresh. Continue. We are refreshing it. And then we will not have a look at the stock. Supply chain execution. And then you go to the inventory management and then we will not have a look at the stock. Click on it. So now all the counts are being adjusted. Right? Go to the inventory and then have a look at the stock. Right? Put the manager in and then have a look at the stock. So make a blank search. Now, right? 40 the one is now done as 45. I remember it now. Right? So the CC1 is now 45. And then in the CC2, now, right? the CC2, CC2, you know, gone to 11 actually. So now uh, 2 plus 4 has been counted as what? 5 plus 6 is now totally 11 actually. No, no, no. So lot 10 is now counted as 5, and then lot 20 is now counted as 6, so totally is 11 actually. And then CC3, if you expand it, what happens? There's only one is there, the remaining one is now missing, fine, that is approved actually. So what happens? Z0, and then this one is there. And then CC4 was having only one quantity, now it is counted as 3. So the new stock is now coming after physical inventory. So you will be having thousands of items on this one. Thousands of items on this. So now what happens? It is a very big task actually. So they have to do it now. Right? So some or other, what happens? It will be done. So they can even void certain counts actually. But they out of 10,000 counts, you may even void 9,900 counts. You only do the counting only 100 actually. So likewise also you will not say actually. So if you say it, only those things has to be counted actually. So this completes the physical inventory now. Now what happens if we have one uh, uh, document here right? that will not tell you the differences between this. Right? In the fusion, what happens if you go there? Fusion, uh, I will not go there. Click on it. I will not go to what one document you are going to have. See your CM training. Long no, open up what fish inventory documentation. I will not look at the differences. No, fine. DF difference. So DF of ah. See your CM training. Long no, open up the fish inventory documentation. I will not say uh, physical. Click on it. PH Y and then make a search of me. We'll have one document on differences between cyclic counting and physical inventory. Oh, no. I don't know where exactly it is. There is one document which will now give you the differences between cyclic counting and physical inventory. Now. So now say cyclic C Y C. Only reasoning is coming from that point. There is one document on differences actually. I don't know where exactly it is. Differences between cyclic counting and physical inventory. I will now see some other training now. I will now open up the fusion inventory basics now. Thank you it. Go to this one. Fusion SCM documentation. I go there. I will now open up the fusion inventory documentation. Thank you it. I will now see the differences between cyclic counting and physical inventory. I'm going for it. Oh, it is not there at all. Okay. When I find it, what happens? I will now upload it into this place actually. So this completes it. And then now what happens? We go there. Going to it. So the next topic will be let me go there. See so same training. I will now open up the fish inventory worksheet. Now find to on the worksheet. You know, opening the worksheet actually. I go down. <laughs> so now we have completed what? Uh, the controls we have completed, the transfers we have completed, and then the replenishments we have completed, the accuracy also we have completed, and then now the next is what inventory fund does tomorrow. So we will now begin the inventory fund does now. Tomorrow we will now begin the inventory fund does. <clears throat> you got it now? So inventory fund does will now become tomorrow. Is that okay? So because I don't want to begin the next big topic. At the fact end of the day now, right? So we'll not do the inventory fund us tomorrow. So bye for now. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. 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 Okay, meaningful.